The ECOWAS community of West African states has stressed the need for integration of critical mass of community citizens to achieve meaningful 2050 roadmap on tackling development challenges. Mrs. Finda Koroma, vice president of the ECOWAS commission, made this known while addressing participants at the end of a two-day consultative meeting in Abuja. The workshop aimed at developing ECOWAS Roadmap 2050 to address challenges that confront women and youths, was organized by ECOWAS in collaboration with GIZ and Nigerian government. You will recall that the authority of ECOWAS Heads of State and Government adopted the ECOWAS Vision 2020 in June 2007 as a strategic framework for the transformation of ECOWAS into a borderless, peaceful and prosperous region. The ECOWAS Commission launched in January 2019 the elaboration of another long-term regional development agenda, which is the ECOWAS Vision 2050. The aim of this new development program is to build on the successes of Vision 2020 and to chart a new development path for the next 30 years based on the aspirations of community citizens. To achieve this, the ECOWAS Council of Ministers instructed the ECOWAS Commission to carry out an exhaustive evaluation of the implementation of Vision 2020 with a view to drawing lessons learned and experience gained, which could be used to develop the new long-term development agenda for the region. Also speaking, Ambassador Zubayru Dada, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, expressed appreciation to ECOWAS Commission for organizing the workshop and commended the workshop initiative to be apt in terms of fostering discussions and identifying developmental challenges within communities and also to explore opportunities, policies and programs to address them. It is heartening to note that several successes have been achieved in that regard, which have gone a long way in increasing the sub-regional integration cooperation and development across several areas. The initiation and implementation of programs in the areas of roads, construction, energy, telecommunications, and internet communication technology in the region have been commendable, and they need to be sustained and embedded in our Vision 2050. We must also admit a lot more needs to be done. For us in Nigeria, we have not only supported and pioneered ECOWAS programs and projects, but we have also succeeded in bringing the values of ECOWAS home to Nigeria. Nigeria's democracy and good governance scorecard remains enviable. Our efforts at ensuring a peaceful, prosperous, and stable sub-region are unrivaled, and I must say also, most effectual. Indeed, these values have been greatly advanced during the regime of President Muhammad Buhari. The GIZ bus cluster coordinator said that the objective of the vision is to formulate aspirations that will reflect needs and hopes of the ECOWAS citizens. Sometimes, in coherence with an overall strategy, and sometimes only as unconnected reforms to fix outdated systems. Zeroing on uh, decentralization, we first and foremost observe citizens' belief that the political subnational system is fair and inclusive. Second, better governance to develop their province, district, city, town, and village. Third, better basic needs such as health systems, education, infrastructures, drinking water, electricity, etc. And fourth, we should ensure that decentralized stakeholders are part of strategic dialogue for a better articulation of their realities into overall strategies. 
to speak of an ECOWAS of the people, the, the pe peculiarities of all stakeholders must be taken into consideration.